Hi everyone and welcome to my videos. My name is Gillian Killiner. I'm a registered dietitian. I have 24 years experience assisting thousands of people optimize their health and in this video I am going to do a simple swap this for that and my swap today is going to be white pasta to whole wheat pasta. So what is pasta? Well pasta has been around for centuries and actually it was brought to Italy uh, from China in the 13th century by Marco Polo and it was from the ancient noodle and since uh, the 13th century the pasta has been a staple ingredient in the Mediterranean cuisine in Italy and also now worldwide we have used pastas in all different formats different styles different colors different ingredients added and so uh, certainly we all enjoy pasta what is pasta made from? Well, pasta is made from a durum wheat mostly and water added and it can have eggs and other ingredients too, but it can be in the form of fresh pasta or dried pasta. So the main macronutrient in pasta in general is carbohydrate and that is in the form of starch. There is a bit of protein and a tiny bit of fat, um, but in general, the carbohydrate is the main source of energy provided. When we're looking at the actual portions that uh, are recommended for pasta, I have a portion here of 80 grams. Now, this is where it all becomes more interesting because I know I would eat far more than that. My son would eat far more than that, but someone like my mother would eat probably that or less. So what's really important is to know how much pasta is suitable for you based on your health, your activity and your hunger, your weight and so on. And that is where people start to trip up with carbohydrates because a lot of people take them out of their diets completely or really cut them back. And when we look at recommendations in our general health um, guidelines, we know that in a 2000 calorie diet, which is an average female dietary intake, um, we would be looking at about 50% carbohydrates, which works out at around 250 grams a day. Now, that being said, not everyone needs to get to 250 grams of carbohydrates a day. We don't all need 50% of carbs in our everyday intake. Some people actually need more and some people need far less. The reason being, well, if you have issues with metabolic syndrome, whether you have issues with diabetes um, or being overweight and needing to lose weight, you may benefit from dropping that carbohydrate intake. And that is because we know that carbohydrates, when they're consumed in reasonable to large amounts, can spike your blood sugars, push up your insulin um, spike as well, and cause metabolic issues. The other problem then is that this drop happens really quickly again, and then you're hungry and looking for more carbohydrates. Now that usually happens when we eat refined carbs. So white breads, white pastas, white rice, cakes, biscuits, and so on. And so that is where I want to show you when you do want to eat pasta, the benefits of moving from a white pasta to a whole wheat pasta can be achieved. The benefits of whole wheat is that you're getting the whole grain. So you're getting more fiber, you're getting more protein. You're also getting essential B vitamins and magnesium, um, some uh, calcium as well as many other micronutrients too. It, the extra fiber feeds your gut bacteria. The extra protein is really good for satiety and also for muscle mass. So definitely including higher fiber foods, higher protein foods is a win for you. And you can add pasta to your plate. You shouldn't be necessarily avoiding it um, as a, a food group that you are eliminating completely. But what you want to be doing is making sure that you have it with a nice additional portion of protein, whether it's uh, vegetable based or meat based, poultry, egg and so on. Or, and also you want to be adding good amounts of vegetables 
and that assists even further with that carbohydrate going into your body and releasing slowly into your bloodstream so that there's going to be even less of a spike of energy. So what about those people who are gluten free that can't eat pasta uh, as it is in a wheat form? Well, thankfully, there are gluten free versions out there. Again, the big issue I find is that it's made from white rice and white corn, which would be spiking your blood sugars. So thankfully, there is um, alternatives that are made with brown rice or lentils or edamame beans. Um, and certainly you could be making use of those looking at the uh, ingredients for those and the nutrient profile is important so you want good quality ingredients in there and then if you need more carbohydrates then pick the lentils and if you're needing more protein pick the beans like edamame beans. I do hope you found this video useful. I know it's a short snapshot, I haven't gone into a lot of nutritional detail but what I want to just highlight is that you can include pasta into your intake. It doesn't have to be every day, but certainly it shouldn't be avoided completely. It's absolutely fine. Picking the whole wheat varieties allows you to enjoy more fiber and more protein to allow you to feel fuller for longer and have that with a balanced meal and you should be able to get away with it. So I hope you found that video useful. Leave me any comments in the comments box below and I look forward to helping you further. Take care. Bye.